Do you want to check out what apps you purchased from your Apple ID and when it was purchased and what it costs? Or want to remove some apps from your purchase history? Here we will show you how you can view App Store purchase history and also how to hide and unhide apps from it. We are using an iPhone but the same process will also work for iPad too. You can easily check out what apps you installed from the App Store. You can also see what apps are not on your device. But you won't be able to see when they were installed and how much you spend on it. If you want to check that, open settings, tap on your name banner, tap media and purchases, tap view account. Sometimes you might have to verify your password from here. Scroll down and tap purchase history. We haven't purchased any apps within the last 90 days. If you have, they will appear here. Tap last 90 days. You will see previous years. You can select which times history you want to check out. Tap there. Now you will see what apps were installed at that time and how much it costs. Now if you want to erase any apps from this list, you can't. But to do it, go back and open App Store. Tap on your profile. Tap purchased. Tap my purchases. Now select the app you want to hide. We are hiding an app not in this device. We are hiding this app for the video purpose. As you can see currently when we go to this app, there is a cloud sign. It means it was installed before. Now go back and tap and hold the app. Tap hide and the app will be hidden from the list. Now you can hide multiple apps this way. Now if you go to this app, you will see get. You can also check if any apps were installed but hidden from the purchase history and unhide them too. Go to settings, tap name banner, tap media and purchases, tap view account, scroll down and tap hidden purchases. You will see all the hidden apps, tap unhide if you want them back on the list and the app will show the cloud icon again. This is the way you can check out the App Store purchase history and also remove or unhide apps from it on the iPhone or iPad. That's it for now. If you have any query on the topic, let us know in the comment below. Thank you.